Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Tastes Like Spelunky. Yes, I know I said that this time I'd be playing a uh, uh, Spelunkamon, but I was promised that the ending was something that I should see, so starting my timer, I'm gonna go for the ending. Also, I have missed a big component of this game's mechanics in terms of item synergies. Like something about grabbing the teleporter when I have a compass already? That might be a good thing to do. Or, uh, combining a bow with a, uh, oh gosh, what is it? The eye bone steak. I'm amazed I managed to do that without getting injured. Okay, so, gotcha. Alright, I have captured a damsel and used the fair damsel to uh, destroy my enemies. Cool, three bombs. Ah oh, man, I want that box, but... Oh, I missed my chance to get it. Is it worth two resources to get a box? Probably not, but I'm doing it anyway. Because I want that box. Oh, two more bites! Which is worth either two more pieces of equipment, or two more health, or one of each in the long run. Okay, so... Sheesh, I have to blast my way in there. Sheesh. Eh, close enough. I'm gonna hide over here. Okay. So, making my way over here. Oh, hey, speaking of combining the bow with the, uh, Uh... Hmm... Okay... What? Oh no... I did not expect that... So I was actually told that I had the right idea when I uh, tried to challenge the shopkeeps before about when and where to jump. I just needed to get the proper rhythm. But instead I used a missile weapon. And I decided to eat the shopkeep because I didn't know that eating the shopkeep was a terrible, terrible idea. Alright, now I'm going to climb up here and eat some stuff. And oh no, a spider. Oh no. Oh hey. There's a humanoid. Okay, so you take this. Captured humanoid. Nice. And now I'll just go exploring for a bit. So, uh, something, something. The Halle Babaka told me to, uh, oh, come on. About how to capture or get, stun the shopkeep. And then told me to make sure I know what I want before I uh, go for the shop. Now I know why I need to know what I want before I go for the shop. And why the best shops are the ones that have stuff that you can just kind of casually, uh, pick up by walking through. Good job, me, by walking through it. 
Like flower shops, which are filled with that kind of stuff. Oh hey, there's a damsel. Is one health worth one item? Sure, why not? Oh, thank goodness that wasn't spikes. That would have been terrible. Alright, let me go have a look-see at what's beyond here. Oh no, there's a spider. Take that spider. Alright, so down below there is perfectly safe. So I'll just move on here. Oh, that spider is just going to destroy itself. I like when spiders do that. Alright, and now hopefully... Alright. And I want to wait here for the damsel so that I can grab her and just go, go, go. Alright. Things are good. Alright. Is there anything I want in here? You know what? No. I'm curious about what that... Uh, sure, I associate with martial arts is all about. But... Like, not curious enough to risk horrible, horrible death. Hmm. I have way more bombs than I have, uh, uh, other less important. No, no, those things are still super important. You want them for the ice caves and the final boss. Heck, you still want bombs for the final boss. And that is why the final boss is like four steps, four spaces wide. Because the bombs blast a three space wide area unless you place them perfectly and heck no, I'm not giving up a damsel for that. Oh hey, is that a Matok man? I left you facing the wrong direction and had to deal some damage to you. Hey, hey now come back. Yes. Yes. Alright, I got the Matok. Game beat. Oh, hey! Oh, she's dead. I killed her with my carelessness. Not eating that. Oh well. Eat. Eat. Oh, right, alright, I'm still digesting a human. Much better. Ooh, explosives. Which aren't quite as important now that I have an infinite use Matok, thanks to the Tunnel Man destroying himself for my delight. Gobble. Oh, hey, flower shop. Good work, me! Great jumping. Right. No! I, I didn't commit to holding the button hard enough to hang onto a ledge there. I wanted to get a box, but instead I fell and got injured. Uh, that last one, run was going so well too until I 
try to challenge a shopkeeper. So shopkeepers shoot bullets at you the instant they aggro. Can I eat you? Nice. Plus I get this gun, but I'm not as interested. You know, no, I'm gonna eat the gun. I'm not going to bank on getting a better item because I love the Madoc, but the gun is super useful in the meantime. Right? Right. Oh, hey. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Definitely gonna eat this. In case I happen to come across a bow, which will give me infinite arrows. But I, the thing I don't like about the bow isn't the finite quantity of arrows, it's just the way the bow works. Just the basic functionality of the bow. Alright, so there's an altar for human sacrifice down there. Just a thought. What if I sacrifice a human? Oh, this was a terrible idea. This was all a terrible idea. Never mind. It barely fit. Oh, oh, I love the... I love the theming of the jetpack. Woo! Okay. Now, I could kill that human for a cape, but why? Okay, so... Really? Alright, gotta remember to be careful and take things slow, and that's why the Madhawk is better for me than the cave, because with the Madhawk, I'm forced to take things one block at a time, and still pay attention to what's down below me. And so while the jetpack is objectively an awesome item, for me, because of the way I play, I tend to mess up when I use it, specifically because I have it, or the cape. Good job, me. Took too long to find the door and got hit in the face by a frog. I do love the quantity of humanoids that start appearing here. Oh yeah, there's an altar for human sacrifice. But... I want to see if I can find the, uh, the what's it called. Oh no, there's the Matok man. How'd you die? Okay. Okay, so I have one bite left. It might be a terrible idea if I'm taking the map off. Now I need to remember I no longer have a gun. I can no longer spit bullets at things. Am I? Oh, I am not already at the bottom level. Ugh. Hey, can I? 
I just thought of something. Could I go to the bottom of that lake and smash stuff with my matok in order to uh, drain the lake and thereby auto kill the giant fish monster there? Oh! Ah! Oh. One more try! Hmm. Now, the question is... Yeah, I, I, I would still rather toss that bomb than take two damage. And if it's worth using an item to avoid one point of damage, or recover one point of damage, it's worth using an item to avoid two. Whew! Okay, so... Okay. Good job, me. Went through all that work to avoid one point of damage and... Ooh! Then went and took a point of damage anyway. I'm gonna install this here. And then, uh... More bites, most excellent. Huh. My phone made a noise that I thought had specifically disallowed it from making. Hold on while I turn that noise capacity off. Okay, so... Alright, so... Good job, me! Oh, what? How did you hurl me into the wall? Okay, whatever. I accept it. Join me next time when I try this again. Well, yeah, I'll see you then. I don't have much to say right now.